Hello, peeps. Uh, you've been asking me about comfortable pedicure positions. Well, you know what? I've searched and searched for 14 months since lounge clothes, and I've been doing my own pedicures. It does not resist the people. So I am so sorry because I've tried everything. So you have the chair, the counter, it's contortion of yoga marathon. So think of this. Why don't we do this? If you don't have a tub, and you could do, pretend this is a flat surface of a floor. But you do a C curve, let's do a little ab work. And then we do a little pedicure situation. And how awesome is that, right? I mean, some of you are probably cursing me, but you know, this is how it is. Um, I've tried the chaise lounge, the kitchen counter thing, and you, you know, the reason why I love the flat surface is that if you elevate your feet, the, the, you know, the polish does not flow. So, you know, you have no choice but to have cleaning mess. So, the flat surface is the key. If you don't have a tub, do it on the flat surface floor. And, sorry, that was the only thing I came up with for 14 months. But, um, so here's a little thing that I do my setup in doing a pedicure. I love my tub because I'm going to soak my cuticle. So pedicure is a really time-consuming project. And that's why I think we just run to a salon and you want to be massaged. But at the same time, there's so much beneficial thing that you could do at home by yourself. Like, look at my toes. Um, I have given from my dad, my beloved dad, that I inherit his poodle toes here. And it's been my life journey to get it flat and longer. And this pedicure actually is eight weeks old. And I do this often just to test the wear of our nail polishes with treatment system. Base coat prep, base coat, and top coat. And you know, I think this is pretty beautiful, but I have been having a project for a long time since the lounge closed because my pinky toes, I mean, this used to be like this big because it was covered with cuticles. Now this, it chipped a little bit, but that's my per se to do a little project. So every pedicure you do, don't think of it as like cut, polish. It really is looking into what's underneath the polish, but at the same time, um, did you know that my goal was, because I had been so much, uh, I had such a, a, a complex about this poodle pose for all my life that I really was embarrassed to tell any nail techs to do anything about it. But you could grow your nail bed, whether it's your toenails or your fingernails, and I've been growing my nail beds, and for you to do that, you could, you know, um, leave nail length a lot longer. And I know most of you know that the toenails, you take it off and you're like, I want it short because I don't want to do pedicure every five months, or I mean five weeks, five months, can you imagine? Sorry about that. But um, this is kind of cool because you have, I mean, I've been doing this project g bag like let's have amazing real estate toenail beds for uh, 14 months and I think I've gotten great because it used to be this big, now it's this long. So now I have all this set up here for you and I have the orange stick, buffing blood that I chopped off for thirds because it's a waste and you have to throw it out if it's not non-metal. I have my Rescue Beauty Lunch file, foot file, nut bar, clip bar, and just file, and buffing block just in case I need to just, I want to take a break. But, you know, I don't love cotton balls and I'm on vacation right now so I forgot to get cotton balls but this is what I do at home a lot because this is really easy breezy and you know when there's no I mean nail thing is so easy you could like interpret in so many ways so what I do is I cut all this paper towels right 
and this is how I cut it. I folded, I put two sheets and I, I fold it in, in thirds and I'm going to cut it like I did here and you cut it in this way. And this is what we used to do when we clean, we used to clean nail polish bottles after you use it. Because there's no fuzz, there's no muss. I mean, how annoying is having like cotton ball fuzz stuck into your nail, toenails or nails. And but, you know, just this is a great thing if you're like away and you can't, you know, you don't want to like buy cotton balls, whatever. So what I do is I pour the nail polish remover here and I let it sit. Let them have friends and marinate. Just like that. And absorb. And and I think they might need a little bit more because I want to be really moist because I do have red nail polish on me, which is Poppy, who got me through eight weeks without, seven or eight weeks without any tip chipping people. I mean, that's awesome. So that's the goal that I do. I mean, I know you, you a lot of people, a lot of rebels, you change your nail polish for like, you know, five times a week or something crazy. But on the opposite, I need to test that if this will last as long as possible. So that's my test kitchen. Um, so when I um, had Beauty Lounge, that I had so many clients that um, cut their you know, toe, toenails so short that it came to the point of the bled before they came to a pedicure. And I just didn't understand that why would you go to a salon and get a professional pedicure when you're, you know, cutting your toenails so short. But then I realized you are dealing with a technician, but this is the beauty of being doing everything at home. So this is our clipper, and it's flat, and I love it. I mean, it's just, you know, kind of designy, but, you know. But don't, don't think that you can't, you have to take your polish off because, you know, most of you people know that I dance and I'm taking a, 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 some, I'm taking a break because I'm on vacation from dance and I'm not doing point class or point shoes. So I really, this is like Project G-Bag Longgate toenail polish 101 like for 14 months and this toenail I mean this these pinkies are I surgically remove all the calluses every pedicure so don't feel afraid that it's for me it's easier to know where to cut if you have a polish on because if you don't have the nail polish and you don't know what it looks like when you paint the toes it's kind of disconcerting so don't feel like you need to have to take the nail polish off and then have to you know cut trim your toes this for me really helps because I'm not cutting it too short And then of course you'll file and muss with it and you know, give some TLC of course, but this is uh, something that, you know, I mean, for me, this, I would have probably cut it a lot shorter if I didn't have nail polish on. And for the toes, never cut in the corners because you'll have ingrowns and you have to cut straight across. And if you want to do soft edges, you file it accordingly, but never, never dig or or you dig with the, trim it with the nail uh, nipper. And I have a really tough toe, so this is going to take a while. But this is straight across. This is not something that I'm cutting in corners. And if this is simply a shape, that's it. And then you're going to file it. 